Hello again guys, this is Matt, David and Ali, and thank you for choosing to get your gaming news here at Livewire. Today we are continuing our For Honor news series by taking a look at the latest For Honor news coming out of E3. This will be one of many videos coming out this week on the channel regarding this huge influx of information from E3, so make sure to check out all of our news playlists if you want to catch this continued series of information on the latest upcoming games. If you have any questions about the news and footage from For Honor, from E3, or just For Honor questions in general, please post a comment below, we are hoping to bring you a Q&A video with all your questions at the end of the week. In this video we are going to be taking a look in detail at the campaign, with all the new warrior gameplay, as well as combat systems and abilities that you can see from the walkthrough video. But first, a quick spoiler warning as we will be taking a look at the story of the game and we'll be showing some missions in the For Honor campaign, so if you want to avoid this until release, please click away now to one of our other spoiler free For Honor videos. Before we get into the story and gameplay of the campaign, an interesting reveal has been unleashed on the For Honor official website as it is revealed that the story campaign will be playable as single player or in two players co op, online, or split screen. For Honor's story campaign is a tale of warriors that will immerse players into the world of For Honor and plunge them into the raging war between knights, vikings and samurai. This is great news for fans of the game because it means that you and your friends will be able to team up to take on this truly epic story of the For Honor world and create legends of the great heroes together. We can only hope that this means we can play the full campaign story side by side and not just have separate co-op missions to take part in. What do you guys think of this? Would you like to see a full co-op campaign or would you just like to see individual co-op missions? Tell us in the comments below. Moving on then, and let's get straight to it. The For Honor campaign starts of an explanation to the backstory of the Free Warrior Legacies. 1000 years before the events of the campaign, a devastating cataclysm shook the world and wrecked civilizations. Desperate for simple resources such as water, the Free Warrior Legacies fought savage battles to claim resources and a homeland in the barren waste that the world had succumbed to. This great conflict between the three factions has now lasted a thousand years. With the reasons for the conflict being long forgotten, the war now continues because of the stubbornness of the Legacies and their refusal for peace. But just when peace looked likely, for the first time in an age, a warlord named Apollyon waged war against the three factions in order to create chaos again, so to prolong the great thousand year war. Apollyon thrives on the chaos, believing in the law of chaos. She is a wicked vengeful streak and should never be underestimated. It was revealed to us that when she was a little girl of 8 years old, her town was meant to be protected by an enforcer. But with the Viking raiders being a powerful foe, the enforcer did not deem the town worth protecting. The village was destroyed and Apollyon never forgot. Some years later she found the enforcers and killed him. She now wears his armour as a reminder of what true justice is and as a warning for her enemies. If you cross Apollyon, you too will perish. We however are embodying the greatest warriors in each faction. Players will live from the inside the events of a crucial moment in the age old war. Confronted by manipulation and treason, they will need to use all their wits and skills to ensure the survival of their people, and foil the plans of the merciless and bloodthirsty warlord Apollyon. Storming castles and fortresses, turning the tide of massive battles, confronting deadly bosses in intense duels, they will become heroes of legend symbols and models of the great warrior legacies. All three warrior legacies are represented in the story campaign, starting with the Knights of the Legions, where you will play as the Warden class. The Warden is a courageous and talented young knight from the lands of the Iron Legion. Wardens are expected to be noble and brave, living embodiments of virtue, and this one has the potential to be that and more. But after years of fighting endless battles for no worthy cause, the Warden has begun wandering, seeking a purpose equal to his or her talents and genuinely worth fighting for. That search comes to an end in Ashfield, among the warriors of the Blackstone Legion. So the next segment of the campaign starts with the Siege of Ashfeld, where the Blackstone Legion are sieging Lord Dorbany is holding, and you as the Warden must defend his keep from the Blackstone Legion. As this is the first mission from the campaign, it also introduces you to the combat system in Ferrana known as the Art of Battle. So we use the lift trigger to walk onto a target in guard mode, 
This locks us into the guard mode stance, where we can perform the art of battle sort of dance to try and defeat our enemies. The way this system works is you constantly have to counter your opponent's stance, using the right stick to select the direction from three choices. To block an opponent's attack, you must match their stance. To attack though, we have to change our guard and select a direction with the right stick to take a new stance. Use the R1 on the PlayStation for a light attack or R2 for a heavier one. In order to hit a successful attack though, we must counter the enemy's stance again, but instead of matching it this time, we must take up a different angle on the right stick so they don't block our strike. We also get to see, for the first time, feats, which are highlighted areas in the campaign mode which grant you consumable powers that you can attach to the left or right of the D-pad. These powers include self-healing abilities or increased damage over a period of time, for example. We can also see that although the Art of Battle system is universal for all the classes and legacies in game, individual classes from the free legacies also have their own unique abilities in game, such as the Warden's Shoulder Charge there, where you can disrupt or knock back an enemy. So as the first mission in the campaign wraps up, our Warden hero is selected to fight a trial by combat. This is the first look at bosses and mini-bosses in the game. It seems like at the end of each story mission, a combat sequence like this one will be featured. These bosses are just more difficult and have a larger health pool than just the common enemy. Briefly we can see the environment has a huge factor in For Honor. With the boss being set into the fire, there are a lot of environmental options for dispatching enemies in the game, so look out for those opportunities, your sword isn't the only thing that can kill off these enemies. And finally, the execution system where you can finish off an enemy with absolute brutality, now imagine doing this to your friends online. Hmm. <laughs> finally then, we are knighted for our heroic victory and are offered a place in the Blackstone Legion. But wait, does this mean we are fighting for Apollyon, you know, the bad guys in this story? Cool, interesting. So that's the first look at the Knights Warden segment of the campaign, but next up we have the Warborn Viking Raiders and the Chosen segments of the campaign which we'll be looking into the detail in part 2, so look out for that video coming very soon. If you enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button and if you don't want to miss all this for honor news and discussion, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing here on Livewire. A reminder again that we are taking all your For Honor questions for a special Q&A video coming out later in the week, so please remember to comment all your questions on any of our For Honor videos released this week. Until next time guys, this has been David, Matt and Ali and we will see you next time. You can click here for our YouTube playlist for all For Honor coverage, or click here for our other main series on the channel Wildlands. With all the big news coming out of E3, there is a lot to show you.